Hey guys, it's just taking me a couple minutes to get everything set up. I'm sure you enjoyed that brief glimpse of my shelf. I didn't mean to show you that. We are simulcasting on Ustream and Periscope at the same time. This ought to be really interesting. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get, I can't hear you or see you or anything yet. So hang on just a second. Wow, I'm hearing myself in like more than stereo. All right. I don't know. You might want to turn me down, Michelle. I have help this morning, everybody, and I can hear myself. I can hear myself over and over. It's kind of funny. All right, let's put the microphone down. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that is just going to make me laugh. It could be my desktop. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So I may just have to hearing my deal with hearing myself in echo. We're going to paint some, okay, well we, that's going to just drive me crazy. I'm, I'm muted on everything except the desktop, which is what I'm listening to you on, Michelle. Hold on. I don't. I know, I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that. I don't hear an echo now. But I don't hear myself at all. But I may not be able to hear you, Michelle. So say something. I can. Yeah, say it again. Yes. I can hear you. You're not very loud, but that'll work. I can still hear myself, but it's less annoying. It is, it is a crack up. <laughs> no, no. No talking to the floor. All right, everybody. So we're going to work on some more little canvases. We're here with Deco Art Products this morning. Um, they're acrylic paints and they're collage papers. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to paint. I have a couple ideas. Yeah, the echo effects are making Michelle and I crazy this morning. We're trying something new, so it's partly our own fault. <laughs> and I have it turned down, but you guys, I can still hear myself in echo. It, it is actually really funny. These are deco art collage papers, and this is Paisley Punch, which look at the colors that come in this one. So we're going to put some of these on here. And these are like a little bit thicker than tissue paper, but they're thin collage papers, which I like. I prefer to work with thinner papers. And I'm going to grab a piece of this too. This is one's called Gold Trends.
let me know if you guys have any questions and or want to see me paint anything in particular. And if you, those of you who are on Ustream, if you have questions, one of the reasons we have a funny setup this morning is so that I can get your questions because you know if you've watched me before, I can't see any of this chat on Ustream. <laughs> it's just, I keep hearing myself. It's funny. Sorry. I'm going to be cracking myself up all morning. Let's see, is this open? I don't even know if this one... Oh yeah, it is. Hope you everybody had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Let's see. Thank you, Michelle. So we have Michelle Mitchell from Lady Blue Studios is over at Ustream um, watching the chat. So if you guys have any questions that she can't answer, she is going to um, let me know. I have my headset on, which is why I can sort of hear myself in stereo, which is cracking me up. I don't know if Michelle's hearing the same thing I am, but it's just hilarious. Yeah, she's going to try something here. It is crazy. We're hearing like my me like three, four times. It's really funny. Ooh, suddenly I don't hear myself. Oh, wait, no, there I am. It's just a delay. <laughs> I got excited there for a minute. It's just a delay. See, <laughs> there it is. Holy crap. Did you guys all go out this morning and get some fresh air, do something for yourself, get some exercise, I hope? Take care of yourself. I know there's a lot of people that aren't are watching the CHA broadcast. Hello! Um, that are watching the CHA broadcast this morning, and so they won't, they're going to be occupied by that. Good morning. Yeah, I, I heard it's, you guys are having some cold weather, you know, I'm in California, so we freak out when it gets to be below 60. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's funny, I was at the gym this morning, and I don't know, it was like 55 or so, and I was getting out of my car this morning and I see this lady, she's all bundled up like she was, you know, at some place that was like 13 below or something. I thought that was funny. Good morning, everybody. So, say that again, Michelle. Okay, are there people watching on Ustream? Okay. One of the we reasons we're going to try to do these Ustream simulcasts um, is because it is easier for me to download the video to YouTube from Ustream. It's quicker. And the quality of the video picture is better for you guys. So, plus there are some people who don't have smartphones or tablets and um, it's hard for them to get onto Periscope. But if you could see my studio, the camera setup is pretty funny. So I'm just starting with a layer of collage, which is, I almost always start my paintings off with some kind of something on the background. I almost never start with just a plain white canvas. <laughs> just sorry. I'm going to be chuckling this whole broadcast. Hearing myself in echo is just hilarious. My, my guess, Michelle, is that it's because my desktop speakers are on and I'm hearing what we're saying plus I'm hearing the broadcast. 
Okay. So I like that. And evidently I'm the only one hearing it, so it's just going to crack me up. You know, it's just, you know, people think I'm nuts anyway, so it's alright. <laughs> alright. So we're going to dry this just a little bit. And I think this morning I need to paint some more Buddha faces because I'm actually been selling them all out. So I think I think that's what we're going to do on these. They don't have to be completely dry, but I want them to be a little drier. Okay. Then I'm just sort of going to turn them around and see which way I think the Buddha face should be on there. I think that way. And we're going to use some neon colors. I have orange and pink. These are both deco art by Americana. Oh, Lisa, you're so brave. You're watching both streams. <laughs> I'm listening to all the streams because I'm getting like a million echoes in my ears. Every now and then I hear Michelle say something, but otherwise I just hear myself echoing. Okay, so that was DecoArt uh, Media Fluid Acrylic in Payne's Gray. Now their Payne's Gray is less blue than other brands. There's nothing wrong with that, but because of that I, I want it to be a dark, but I want it to be a little more blue. So I'm going to add some Prussian blue to it. And this is Deco Art Traditions, which is a little thicker. And I'm also going to put out some Prussian blue. And then I'm going to put out some aquamarine. If you guys have any questions, ask. And then I have some Dahlia Ride Yellow. I don't think that's how you pronounce it, but that's, you know. Yeah, I, I have trouble with English most days. And just for the heck of it, I don't think I'm going to use a lot of it. We're going to put out white. Alright, let's see. And we're going to go with a filbert. Where's my rag? So this is a Simply Simmons brush, and this is a number 6 filbert. So it's a flat brush, but it's got a rounded tip. And it's, in my opinion, these are really good acrylic painting and mixed media brushes, this particular shape. So we're going to do two of them, and even though I'm going to do them side by side, I can pretty much guarantee you they're going to come out looking completely different. I'm going to start with my darkest color, because this is acrylic paint, remember, so we can uh, bounce around with the colors. We don't have to worry about starting light and working our way darker like you do with watercolor. With acrylic, acrylic is all about layers of mark making. So if you make something too dark, you can just put white on top of it or a lighter color. So we're going to start with putting our head shape. I almost always do my Buddhas as a half face. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Here's a neck. And and you don't have to think of it as a Buddha necessarily. You could think of it as a just, you know, sort of meditating girl. We're not using any flesh tone colors though. Her eyes are closed. So that's her lower lid. 
or upper lid. Then I'm going to put in a nose. Oh yeah, I'm going to, it's going to be up for replay on Periscope for 24 hours. It's also going to end up on YouTube, hopefully later today. This is the eyebrow. And I'm just, I'm using the very tip of the filbert brush to do this line here and this is the side of the bridge of the nose. I'm going to put in the nostril here. And you know, you might put in lines on your face that you don't like. This is acrylic paint, so you can always go back and put more paint there and keep working the shapes until you get them exactly the way you want. I'm painting on a little 4x4 four four canvas. This is something I picked up at Walmart. Ah, not Walmart, sorry. Holy cow, I need more coffee this morning. Hobby Lobby. Walmart. What the heck am I thinking? I'm going to put in an ear shape here. And something for the top of the head, the headdress, the hair, you know, depend what it is exactly is going to depend on whether you've decided to make this more of a Buddha or more of a girl. Okay, that's a good start. So I'm going to, I'm not going to clean my brush off and I'm going to grab some of my ultramarine, which is my next... I don't know, lighter, it's a lighter color. It's still a cool color, so it's still a good shadow color. I still feel like I need coffee, you guys. And this here, this is just a piece of canvas on my table, so I have a habit of just doing this, and when it gets really messy, I'll make a journal cover out of it. You'll want to get have a baby wipe or a damp rag handy, and this will help you blending some of your lines. Now, when you're doing this on a bigger canvas or a journal page, it's much easier. The smaller you go, the harder these kind of things are to get, especially to get the blending right. Hello, Lilith and Sweet Lady over on Ustream. So I'm just putting this aquamarine color in the parts of the faces that would be darker, that would be in shadow. I'm working my way darker to lighter, the opposite of what I do when I do watercolor. And don't, you know, like I said, don't be afraid to get in here with your baby wipe and just blend your lines out a little bit. If you wipe too much off, you can always put more. Let's move this one out of the way and just focus on the one because that's, I'm looking at the screen and that's confusing me. So one of the tricks to doing these faces that is especially handy when you're doing them in non-traditional colors, say you didn't get your neck exactly right or you're not super great about painting ears or that sort of thing. So one of the really great tricks to do is to 
have the darkest color of your face be a same, the same or similar color as the rest of the background of your painting. So then when you do that, your face tends to disappear into the background or blend into the background. It's less noticeable if the lines aren't exactly right. But it gives you a nice effect because it also appears like it's popping out of the background. Before we get too far, I'm going to paint my edges. We did a lot of these before Christmas. They make really great Christmas presents or birthday presents. If you do craft shows, they'd make little good little sale items at arts and craft shows. Everybody has room for a small canvas. Not everybody has room for a big one. We do in-depth lessons on painting Buddha faces over at Journaling Crazy Island Style. And that, I'm not saying that because I got on the air to advertise that. I always advertise that because I teach over there. But um, it just dawned on me. I think we've done this a couple times over there. And my lessons are a lot more in-depth than I think what we're going to get into today. Don't forget to paint your edges. It makes your painting look complete. Oops. How many of you are following Peter Walsh's 30 days to get organized? 31 days to get organized on YouTube. Anybody but me? So now I have the Prussian blue, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to, what's it about? So he does quick, um, short videos every day for the whole month of January, and he um, gives you some tips about cleaning and organizing and purging your house. So this is the Prussian blue. I'm going to go in. I'm going to mix. Hmm. I want a green. I think I want a green. Hansa yellow. I have this other Dahlia Ride yellow, but I think it might be too orange. So I'm going to mix this with some of the Prussian blue. Because the blue, the green will be more of a blue green than an orangey green. Yeah, yeah, I was right. A good habit to get into with any paints that you have, and it works well with deco art paints, of course, is to, when you get a set of paints like these, is to mix all your colors with each other make a chart and see what colors you can get and practice your color blending. So this is a warmer color. It's we're going into the lighter the warmer shades to bring out the um, warmer tones in the face, the parts of the face that would be closer to the viewer. I just stuck my finger in some. And yellow. I'm not really cleaning my brush off. I'm just using it dirty. I'm letting the colors blend together. I have colors that 
will blend well together without making mud. So I don't have anything on here that's going to turn like purple. If I put purple in here, that would be a problem with all this wet paint because that would just get really muddy. This is the Dalluride Yellow. So when you're doing faces like this, especially if you're using non-traditional colors, you want to make sure you don't use colors that don't blend well together because you won't get the effect that you want. And every painting I've ever done has an ugly duckling stage, so if yours has one of those, just keep going. We haven't gotten any trolls today. I'm kind of surprised. I don't miss them. Did you say something, Michelle? I know, right? Now I did jinx it. Holy cow. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Is anybody else who's on Ustream having problems with the audio? That's the only thing I can think to ask because I don't, I have, I hear myself. <laughs> she can maybe reboot her computer or check her speakers. cool it'll yeah it'll be on YouTube I, I always I I'm I can't not put these on YouTube for you guys it'll be on Ustream for a while and Periscope for a while but I'm also going to get it over to um, YouTube Okay, so I'm just defining the shapes of my face with the different colors, the cool colors. I have, I paint with cool and warm colors. So my shadow colors are my cool colors, which would be my blues and, and kind of my green because my green, okay, you, if you really want to watch the art, cool. If you are not wanting to watch the art, then you need to stop and go away. Um, the green's kind of a cool color. It's a border color. If you put it next to this yellow, it's a cool color. <laughs> if you're just being funny, that's funny. <laughs> These are really warm colors, the fluorescent, the neons, and then of course we have some white. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to find the shapes of my face. Oh, thank you. And I'm, you know, not really, when you're working on a canvas this small, you can't do tons of blending. You have to just let your marks speak for themselves and help them define your shape because you really can't, there's only so much you could do. The canvas is too little. And every time I do a Buddha, they're a little different. Sometimes I use white. Sometimes I don't use any white. Sometimes I do 12 of them at the same time. Okay, we're going to put bring in some neon pink. And you can still see a little bit of the collage paper underneath there, which I love that. <laughs> yeah, see? So, 
put the pink where you really want it to appear like the light is really hitting Buddha's face. Yeah, you can always, if you don't like it, you can always gesso over it. That's what they make gesso for. No, just go for it. I made lots of crappy canvases in the past. You just have to experiment and play. I've got a garage full of stuff that needs painting over or gesso. <laughs> you just have to play. Yeah, I when I first started, I wouldn't buy new canvases. I did m what Michelle's just telling me in my ear to tell you guys, which is go to Goodwill and get a canvas from the thrift store. And then paint over that. And I've done that. So I just got the question, how long have I been doing this? That's a question I get asked a lot. I have two aunts that were both fine art students in college. They did a lot of babysitting. And I was never a kid that could sit still well. So I don't remember ever not doing arts and crafts and painting. One of them was a pen and ink artist, and one of them was a painter. The gesso, yeah, you may, if you have a lot of um, dark paint on here, you might need a couple layers of gesso, but yeah, the gesso will cover it all up. So now I'm just coming back in with my dark and making sure that I haven't lost too much of that putting the lighter colors on there. Um, the texture will still show, but I like that because I think it gives your painting some interest and you don't have to worry about adding texture in. You can work around it a lot of times. Yeah. I used to live next to a Savers, and so I, um, which was bad. That was very bad for my budget. <laughs> but, but I um, used to buy a lot of stuff from there. But Goodwill is great. I live near a Goodwill now. So the, I'm really liking where this is going, so I'm not wanting to touch this too much more. I do think I'm going to... Let's make a darker green. I still have my baby wipe handy. Yeah, I, I enjoy painting them. And I sell a lot of these little faces, Buddha faces. Most of the time, unless I'm doing it on camera for somebody, I don't paint just one. I usually do like 12 of them. some neon orange here. Let's see if I can get some of this in here. I love the Americana neons because they're handy. I live in California um, in, San, in San Jose. It is 
about an hour away from the ocean. Okay, I'm liking that, so I'm not going to really, oh wait, touch it anymore. You know, I always say that, and then there's always something. I got asked, I get, the other question I get asked a lot is, how do you know when a painting is done? Well, my paintings are never really done until they're either varnished or they go to their forever home because I just keep messing with them. Okay, that now we're going to stop because I like that one. So now let's do the other one. You can still see some of the collage paper in the background. Maybe you want to do some journaling in the background underneath the Buddha face. If you're covering up another painting, I did one for my daughter, uh, actually a huge one that's like six feet long by four feet high. Um, behind one of his cheeks, part of the underpainting shows, which was a uh, painting of hearts and flowers. And it, when I put the Buddha face on there, it just turned out to be that there was a little heart right underneath his cheek, so I wiped the paint back so that you could see that. Okay, I think I missed a question, Michelle. Yes, it is, the one behind her bed in her videos. Okay, so now we're going to start another one, and I'm going to use the same palette, but you'll see it's going to turn, they always turn out different, so. Right away, the face is a little bit different shape. Goodbye, have a good day. So again, I'm going to start with the lower eyelid, or upper eyelid, the closed eye. I confuse myself on a good day. That might be in totally the wrong place, but that's okay. And of course you could do this with a pencil. You don't have to do it with a paintbrush like I'm doing. And if you get the, you know, face um, features in the kind of the wrong place, they're not in exactly the right place, just, you know, add, let the paint dry and go over it again with more paint. Put a shadow here under the chin. If you guys are um, in the face in my Facebook group, you can um, go over there and request um, certain you know acrylic painting tutorials for the Mondays with Deco Art or watercolor tutorials for watercolor Wednesday. If you're not a member of my Facebook group, you can join. It's called A Life of Art and Self-Expression. You can also leave a comment on the videos on YouTube and I will um, add that request to my list of requests.
Just making sure I get some paint on my edges. So already I'm noticing by the way I painted the face that it looks like Buddha's facing head down because the chin is short but the forehead is long so it almost gives you the illusion that his head's tilted down. So this is some Prussian blue mixed with a little bit of white. And I'm going to define the shadows of the face, the parts farther away from the viewer with my cool colors and bring out the high parts of the face or the parts closer to the viewer with the warm colors. I'm also going to work on the shape of the face and fixing it a little bit. And Michelle's cutting paper. I can hear her. I can't see her, but I can hear her. <laughs> I can hear it. So I'm just working on the shape of the face and the shadows at the moment. Now I'm going to kind of wipe my brush off a little bit, but not, not going to really clean it too much. I'm going to go in with my super dark green in the nostrils, between the lips a little bit, the eyelid, the eyebrow. Lisa, you keep having to rejoin. Are you having a problem with the connection this morning? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our lighter green. I'm really wanting to use green on Buddha this morning, which is not a color I normally use tons of on them. I don't know why, but I'll put a little bit in the hair or the headdress. So I'm working my way towards my warmer colors, my lighter, brighter colors. I'm going to um, use another one that's kind of on the border between the two, which is the aquamarine. It's a warmer blue, but it's not the coolest, uh, the warmest color of my palette. And you notice I'm using my paint to redefine and 
adjust the shape of my face. And even painting this face side by side with the other one, these two are complete, turning out completely different. That's what I was talking about. So now I'm going to go into the Dalluride Yellow. And this is what happens when I um, paint Buddhas. I get involved in the painting and I forget to answer questions. Sorry. I'm sorry you keep losing your connection, Lisa, but know that this is going to be up on YouTube actually pretty quickly. Maybe reboot your... Um, router thing. Isn't that what it's called that does the Wi-Fi connections? See, I can paint you pretty pictures, but I don't know, I don't know that much about computers. I know enough to get myself in trouble. <laughs> Michelle's laughing, but she knows me. She knows it's true. <laughs> I'm going to come in with some white. And it's going to mix with the wet paint that's on here. And it's going to give me a lighter, like, secondary color. That was a little too much white, so I just wiped my brush off on my baby wipe. To work on the lower lip down here and define it and instead of drawing your lips try to define the shape of them with your paint colors by you know working around the lips to bring out the shape of your lips We don't have these Monday with Deco Arts all the time. Um, I'm, I only do them every other week. Um, we do do Watercolor Wednesday every week, and I won't be I won't be doing these UStream broadcasts every week either. I don't know how often we'll do the UStream. It'll depend on how many of you want to see it. U UStream's an issue. So now I'm just defining the edges of my face with, and going back in with the dark, darkest color. Defining the lines of the face that need redefining that I lost by adding my other colors in. I'm barely touching my brush to the canvas so I get this nice kind of thin line. I'm going to darken this up a little bit over here. some of my neons.
When I started out painting, I used only Americana paints because I couldn't afford fancy artist paints. And I actually still love the Americana neons, they're my favorite. I mean, unless you guys have questions, I just pop out little strange things like that because that's what's on my mind. <laughs> okay. That's actually not bad. This right here is funny. Let's see. That's better. So, you know, focus on painting suggestions of things rather than actually painting the shape. The human eye and brain will put in the shapes that you just suggest without you having to paint them exactly. And it's, I think, a lot more fun to paint without being stressed out about doing a perfectly photorealistic, you know, portrait of a face or Buddha or whoever you're trying to paint. Okay, let's go back to this one for a minute. Let's take a look at this one and see if there's anything we need to fix. I like them both. Well, I like this one better. But that's, how, that's why I usually do 12 of them. They all turn out a little different, and usually I'm a lot looser and more expressive in my mark making uh, by the end than I am at the beginning. See what we can do about this one. And acrylic paint is all about layers of marks. So the more layers of, and so is mixed media. So the more layers of stuff that you put on here, the more marks you put, the more mediums you put, the more interesting it's going to get. And, and really, you know, put on your favorite music, something you really enjoy, especially when you're doing little paintings like Buddha, and then just enjoy the process and have fun with it. See, that's already better, and I just, I barely did anything. You hear my squeaky chair? <laughs> I got a new chair for Christmas. Hey! Hi, Karma Kittens, hello! See, I get involved in painting, especially when I'm doing Buddha, and I forget to look at the chat. You guys gotta do that, like, really grab my attention. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? My family cracks up because they try to have whole conversations with me and I'm, you know, uh, doodling or painting and I totally not heard anything they said. So I'm just going back to this first Buddha and I'm, I'm adding a few purposeful suggestive marks. Um, the weather is not, you know, it's over, it's a little gray. It's not too bad. You know, it's a bit on the chilly side more than what they're, we're used to, but you know, in California, you know, it's not 70, so everybody's in their snow gear, which cracks me up in San Jose.
I didn't like that blob of white there, so we're, I took some of it off and we're going to Yeah, um, one of my friends, Cindy Utter, was telling me the other day, she lives in New York State, it was minus three. Oh, only 40 minutes north, where do you live? San Francisco. Oh, I love. Oh, you live where Dick Blick is. Oh, you're so lucky. What did you say, Michelle? Yeah, maybe. Keep an eye on that. That would be nice. So I'm just going in here and I'm just refining my shapes of my Buddha and making the painting more interesting by making sure there's a good balance of warm colors and cool colors and some interesting marks. And already I love that. I need to stop on that one because I love the way that looks. And this one came out right the first time. So I'm, but I, what I need to do though is I think do something over here. And I'm going to just use my fingers. that's already better let's look at this one on this side, over here because I think if we mute this a bit then the face pops out more and we want the face to be standing out more than the background we don't want the background to detract thank you Lisa and I'm just as you see I'm just using my fingers we need to do something right here oops that's too much aqua I like the aquamarine but that was too much that's better oops That's much better. Okay, let's look at this one. So I, when we get close to the face, instead of using my fingers, I'm gonna use my brush because I don't wanna mess up the faces. So not everybody can be here this morning because we're busy with other things and that's fine. The recording will be up on uh, YouTube shortly. It'll also be live for a while on Ustream and, U and uh, Periscope. 
But there we go. Those are a lot of fun. I like both of them, but you can see what I mean. They're completely different. So we're not going to let this extra paint go to waste. I've got my Small Delusions journal here, which we're doing um, a new series in for YouTube. But what we're going to do is... Um, I want, oh, here we go. I'm going to get my catalyst tool. And I'm just going to put the paint on some of my pages. You'll see these pages show up, I'm sure, on YouTube because this is a book that we're using for our new series on YouTube soon. Okay, I missed, you said, somebody asked something about YouTube, and I missed it. Ask it again. If you Google my name, um, which is the same name here on Periscope and on Ustream, which is Gina, B as in boy, A-H-R-E-N-S, I'm literally all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, in more ways than one, Michelle's right. <laughs> yes, so you can also go to GinaBAarons.com and find all my links there for social media, stores, and everything. I don't know what Quantum Play is. So I'm going to stick a clip here and I've got two backgrounds started in this little journal that I can do something with. Oh, Russian bloggers, okay. I had some excellent Russian vodka recently over the holidays. Boy, was that stuff good. So there we go. Does any... That's okay, no worries. My grandmother wasn't an American native and she spoke half English, half Italian, so. And her mother spoke no English. I grew, grew up with that in the house. No, actually, but my daughter's um, boyfriend's parents are from Lithuania and they speak Lithuanian and Russian. And I love it when they speak either Lithuanian or Russian. It sounds fabulous. I have no idea what they're saying. All right, so there we go. Uh, we are uh, been on for about an hour, and I hope that you guys um, enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, um, you can ask me on the comments on the video on YouTube. You can join the Facebook group. A Life of Art and Self-Expression and um, ask the questions over there. If you do paint any little Buddhas, I'd love to see them. And um, yeah, have fun with it and I hope you've had a happy holiday. If you do want more detailed lessons on doing these kind of Buddha faces, there is a um, lesson on this over at Crazy Island University. But yeah, try these deco art paints. I think they're fabulous. All right, that's it this morning, guys. Have a good day. Go back. I know, aren't the colors fabulous? And it's a little bit of a challenge to, to do faces in these non-traditional colors, but it's a fun challenge. You're welcome. And, yeah, 
Try not to get too wound up in watching all the CHA uh, broadcasts. I, I've got to stop looking at them. It just makes me want to go buy stuff that I can't, not only can't buy yet because it's not out yet, but, you know, it's just not good for the budget. <laughs> I don't really need any more stuff. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself. Go for a walk. Um, you know, whatever it is, breathe in some fresh air, get some exercise, take five minutes just to yourself, do something just for you today, and then try practicing some of these little Buddha faces and have fun with it. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.